why are we doing this or why am I doing this? I wrote water, energy, trains, planes. It's there. And sometimes for many people it's taken for granted. It's there. But nobody thinks, okay, there is somebody that thought, that made the project, that built it to grow. What does it mean to grow? The number of employees, revenue, this is growth as we usually measure the development of a company. But actually, for me, for us, to grow is also to do meaningful activities, to have impact and access to water, electricity, infrastructure that connects cities, to have sustainable and renewable energy. We can change things. We can increase the quality of life of many, many people all around the world. As Orcs started in Switzerland as a, a company with them um, 200 to 300 employees and is now more than 2,000 worldwide, we are a network, not just a company. We are mainly in the business of design and engineering. While the math and physics don't change from one place to the others, local component is extremely important. If it is architectures, we need to bring the flavor of the area. If it is construction and engineering, you need to take into account how we build in that area. So we don't have a dominant engineering dogma or approach. Most of our partner competitors come from one specific city, then exports. Our approach is different. The power is not that one office is bigger than the others. The power is the network how we connect them to deliver a major job. Other disciplines that are deeply rooted in our network, like tunneling, geotechnical, bridges, these we don't need a specific ambassador because it's well spread. Others, like airports, are mainly in one or two locations. So we need ambassadors that spread the knowledge, that take their arcs, and go and spread that knowledge around the globe. This project in Greenland is amazing. It's a school project. It's for children from the first to the ninth grade. It's also like a social gathering place for the whole city. The winters are not only long, but also very dark. It's quite windy, it's quite cold there and they did a lot with glass and a lot with natural materials. Ever so small decisions were made regarding energy efficiency, maximizing daylight. So it's like a seamless integration into the nature of Greenland, but also a very warm and comforting and safe environment, a learning environment for the children. This bridge is a world record of the longest concrete span. The challenge from an engineering point of view is how long you can make a span without any physical support in between. What is really beautiful on this job is that it's connecting two nations, US and Canada. The most complex part of the engineering of such bridges is how to align the two nodes that are 400 meter extended so that they meet at the same point, regardless of the temperature of the stress that we put on each cable. Because concrete is a live material, it shrinks, it creeps, it changes dimensions, it's heavy. And that's exactly the kind of engineering that Arx excels at. Kutai PSB is a pump storage power plant. We produce energy at a time that we can produce it, but maybe we don't need it. So with this kind of 
uh, infrastructure like the PSP Kutai would pump water in a lake on the mountains when we need energy and there's no sun or wind. We can use this water to produce hydroelectric energy and this solves a major challenge. It reduces the waste and increases the reliability of renewable energy. When you have engineers with different experiences, with different mindsets, with different exposures, come together to face a new challenge in one specific location with the local flavor of it. Usually it brings out of the box solutions. And that's why we defined ourselves as smart minds. In the global market, what we are chasing is the complex Excel projects. It's the projects that every designer, engineers love to participate in. It's the project that locally alone you cannot deliver. And that's where ARCS comes into play. To be part of this global network of smart minds, it's so inspiring um, working together with all those people all over the world. The mix of the expertise and the know-how and the vibes, the spirit, the spirit of inspiring each other, learning from each other, challenging each other. I am deeply blessed. ARCS is more than just a company to me because it is a community, it is a family, it is a shared mission. We shape our company around our people. It is something more than just having rules, guidelines. It is to share a vision, a mission all together to have an impact on the world, on the future to shape a better world for tomorrow designing infrastructure. A company built on rules, it lasts a decade. A company built on people leaves a legacy.